Alright. Um, I was currently trying to get the, the help the princess mission going on. I can't really do that right now. I gotta wait until year four for that, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, luckily, I should still be able to do it at year four. On my test file, I, I don't know what the fuck I did different, but something I did different works. I don't have to worry about it on year four, but on this one I do. So I don't know what I don't know what I did right. I don't know what I did wrong. Hmm. Well, we can't all be perfect. And yes, this is the last dungeon. So after this, year three is done. So. Huh. And yes, I'll use your YouTube tag as far as featuring noble spooty, even though there's nothing noble about you. <laughs> every one well, of his friends, you. every was... every one of his friends has heard that's Never what his his YouTube channel is, and everyone said you are the farthest thing from noble. So warned and Fair old point. Man. I just tried to think with of a name, so I just went with it. To be honest, it, it works. It works. It rolls off the tongue, so I I'll give you that. Yeah. Even but I don't care I if a lot of people laugh at it. I don't care. Go ahead, laugh it up. At least it's my choice, okay? And plus, I couldn't think of another name, so why not? I will say though, I love the music of these games. What was your thoughts on this dungeon when you saw it on my test file? Oh, that's really neat. Greater Lizard meant out the ass on leaders. this one, but this is also where we need um, this is where we're introduced to the ghosts aren't we? Yeah, oh we never really tried Phoenix down on them have we? No, that's another thing. Thank yeah, you for reminding me. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna thank have you to for... test out that see that actually works. I love the music in this game. Even you gotta admit, the music in this game is amazing. Look at what right. I got! Does this spear look familiar? Oh, nice! Yep, I just got it. <laughs> Gotta be glad that that little guy doesn't really get hurt at all. Because that would have been really annoying. I still say this isn't anywhere near as bad as Stunlock Cavern. Fair. <laughs> you know what I mean by Stunlock Cavern with the yeah, gigas, the, the cockatrice, all of that. That was Stunlock Cavern. Yeah. <laughs> 40 gil. Nice. Yeah. What does the catapult do? Yeah, we uh, need to... <laughs> Phoenix down, Huey. I don't even have it. Damn it. Ah. Uh, I'll come back for you later, ghost. I'll cleanse your soul another time. I'll resurrect... <laughs> no yeah. way, I'll just resurrect you back to torture. <laughs> God, so kind of, actually, that's a, that's a weird question. Deck. Here's a weird question. This is always something that's been a thing of, of wondering on in this. Let's try this out. Does this hurt you? No, it doesn't. No. Okay. Now the reason why that I was asking. Been... No, the reason why I was asking <laughs> is because in uh, certain Final Fantasy games, all healing means, be it, like uh, spells, items, all that, does like a lot of damage to them. I hate these damn wasps. I hate them. Well, gotta be glad that you at least had gravity prepared. Well, it's because I have a blizzard ring. Fair. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was, since I saw that, I'm like, oh my god, I want that. That's gonna help so much to make sure I have gravity available. Yeah, I know how hard it is to kill flying enemies. No. Ow. Plus, you have someone that actually talked to you. It's just talking to people that can't really talk back, except for saying comment. Eh, it's, well, it's whatever. Haha, uh -huh, I poked you in the ass. Was it the tail or the ass you poked in? I'm actually concerned. I think I went through. I think it went through the tail and into the ass. Well, I'll one way to that. give him a piercing. I'll take that. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh, I got I got a recipe for a really rare ring. You want to know what it is? Really? What the, what ring is it? It's the ring of light. It gives me my asthma resistance. Wow, that that's extremely that, rare. Yeah. Holy shit. So that means if something ever happens, yeah, you'll that's be why prepared I'm like, for that. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I oh, God damn it, I thought I was out of rage. 
These guys are definitely stunlock heavy. Well, didn't you call them stun whores? <laughs> yeah, they are. Um. I wish we had at least rays. I sold all my Phoenix Douts earlier because I was hellbent on trying to get a mithril for this damn spear. Now you sign a wish you would have saved one. <laughs> Yeah, way just give me a, give me a whisk. Holy. Yeah, give me a whiskers or so, or a, or a not a whisker, but a raise or some shit. This is gonna be painful, but I will kill it. There. There we go. Oh, how fucking ironic! <laughs> Oh man, out of all the- Looks like he was prepared to use the Phoenix now, but he just swiped it from it. <laughs> well, now at least we have a Phoenix down ready for when another ghost appears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was dumb as shit. I'm not gonna lie, that was absolutely <laughs> stupid. It really is. Of, out of all things to be given, it's a Phoenix down. And the most ironic thing is, it was from the ghost that we were- Planning on testing it on. That's that. Yeah, that's why I find it so ironic. Okay. One. You want to know a particle effect I've always liked as you got into tougher dungeons? Go on. Look around the ring. That's a thick ass layer of miasma. It's pushing back. That's true. <laughs> God, it makes me imagine how bad is it outside the ring. Because we saw how much health it takes away, but in real life, how much does it really do? Oh, it'd probably be absolutely choking. Probably. God oh, damn. Shit. Oh my god. They are really stun happy. Come on, Moogle. <laughs> Don't get stuck on a fucking enemy. I would've been so pissed if I died because my Moogle got stuck. Yeah, <laughs> you nearly died from the miasma. I would've been so mad. I swear, I would've been just li absolutely livid. <laughs> He's just taking out the archers. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Are you fucking serious? No, 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 no. no. This no. is bullshit. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm that actually is... really mad. I'm really fucking mad about that. To be honest, the smartest thing is, is you like if you would have killed the first one before going for the other two, that might have been a little bit smarter. I'm genuinely pissed off right now. That I'm, that really pissed me off. I feel so bad. You're completely pinned down by each. They're all taking turns hitting you to keep you stunned. At least you, at least, at least you managed to keep all your stuff. I, I'm actually really fucking mad about that. No, that doesn't work. That's a fucking shame. Ah, out of all, <laughs> to all that time. <laughs> no, now I'm going. No, now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. Fuck that. I'm mad. You gonna get your vengeance on them? He deserved it. Oh, now you wow. ignore me. Now you ignore me. You have the fucking audacity to ignore me? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's just... That's just savage of them. That's what they just did to you. Yeah, they're gonna regret ignoring you like that. Pull some stunlock bullshit like that. <laughs> That's the first part of the key. 
first one of the keys. Well, yeah, thank you for correcting me there. I wonder if you had to kill that thing for you to walk across the bridge. You're so fast! Does holy water actually reveal a ghost? No. Mm. Here's the other key. Gravity. Yeah, they moved out of the range too. I'm still really salty about that. I would be the same too if I was on that situation because they did after what just happened. There was no escaping that after. What they they're just taking turns hitting you, just to make sure you don't move at all. And now I'm starting to see one of the reasons why they added multiplayer to this. Because of shit like that. Yeah. Now we all know, folks, why they add multiplayer to this. Was that your first death in the game? Yeah, actually, even since I was a kid, that was the very first death. Really? Yes, that was my first death ever since I've even known of this game in existence. Well, damn, how, how does it feel to die for your first time? Oh, I'm pissed. I'm really pissed. I'm genuinely really fucking mad about that. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I got stun locked to death by two bullshit enemies. I don't care what anybody says. That was bullshit. Yeah. Holy's not gonna stop me. I'm just gonna fucking beat you back into the hell you belong to. To be honest, looking how he slows you down, you're still up to speed on your attacks, which is terrifying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I finally get raised. Fucking ironic. Yeah, yeah, even if they use a slow spell on you, <laughs> your speed melee is attack still high. Speed's not, yeah, melee attack speed's not altered. It's your casting speed, focused attack, charge up speed, and your movement speed. To be honest, on D&D, I'm not going to be surprised if... <laughs> And that's gonna be one of the effects of Placenzo if somebody manages to do like a slow spell on you, you only your attacks are <laughs> are still moving as fast. <coughs> because the general you tore a goblin apart! No, I crushed his head with my bare hands. Oh wait, never mind, that was a kobold. No, I pommeled it to death. Hmm. I swore I thought you tore a kobold apart with a uh, like a blade. No. I took the blade and punched it to a bloody pulp with the blade. Okay, to those that are on the stream, well, not stream. To those that are watching this video that don't know what D and D is, basically Dungeons like and a, Dragons. It's Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. Everybody knows what Dungeons and Dragons is. My character's a known barbarian who's got a really bad, pissed off issue. He's like and super his pissed name off. Is yes, he is extremely violent. He successfully crushed a goblin's head with his bare hands because it stabbed him in the ass cheek while he was sleeping. Um, and he he's, crushed he's the goblin's single head while butt naked. Yeah, he's that's the same goblin. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's also like single-handedly killed quite a few enemies because he's just a fucking tank, basically. He's just a monstrous tank. Oh yeah, now I remember the time that you tried to flirt with a blacksmith. <laughs> yeah. Lost. So yeah. much gold! Way yeah. more than I lost when I tried to sell some weak <laughs> blades to her that were yeah, legit either useless. Way, either way, point remains. That bitch is gonna need my help one day. She's gonna need my help one day. Yeah, but you know she's gonna give both of us a lot of shit the <laughs> moment. <laughs> knowing, knowing Dax, he's definitely gonna make her give us a lot of shit for what we try to do. Oh no, no I'll go I'll go I'll go look at her and be like, no, I don't want no, I don't want what are you what are your fucking on store weapons. I want you to make me a custom weapon 
every fucking bit of it. I, and I don't, I don't want that bitch to be charged me at all. I want that shit to be free, and I want you to thank me for giving you a challenge. You know what? I want to say this now. <laughs> Did your brother got himself arrested? Yeah, he got arrested <laughs> for getting for getting into a bitching match with the blacksmith. Yeah, and. Everybody was pissed because we did ha we did nothing that session. We did nothing that session. Fair, fair. Tomorrow, we hopefully, like hopefully we have a, hopefully we have a better session. Hopefully we actually do have a session because we're going on our way to go kill a bunch of kobolds. And I already gave everybody a heads up. First fight, I'm going into battle frenzy. Why? Because that's how pissed I was about that bullshit last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell, I bought I wasted more gold to buy two dozens of tomatoes to throw it at the orc's head for fucking up. Okay, to be honest with you, knowing Battle Frenzy, I just reminded myself of my own ability. What was that called again? Like, Whispers? Dissident, dissident Whispers. Yeah, remember that time that I saved Cameron's life by... <laughs> melting, melting the damn thing's brain? Yeah, to be and How do you explain it when that happened? You explained it for the DM, so... <laughs> You want to tell the audience of how um, you explained it? The best way I could describe it, you force your knowledge and information of your god Cthulhu into their brain, and all they do is just freak out and just <laughs> before falling over dead because their brain melted, being unable to fathom what the fuck you're able to live with. And they did, after its death, we did dissect the head. You see, dissected the it. You dissected it. I just chopped Fair. his head off with a sword. That's all I did. Fair. And it was legit much. Did I say, uh, I guess he could handle the knowledge of Cthulhu that well? <laughs> He's a goblin. He's not going to be able to handle the knowledge of wiping his own ass. Fair. <laughs> You know, I was I laughing if I somehow managed to put the I just like going to his mind with the past and he said, Hey, have you heard of wiping your own ass? His brain melts. <laughs> I'll die laughing at that when it happens. <laughs> what? I didn't realize that was a thing I could do. Well... Let's see if it even affects him, I highly doubt it. Didn't even he touch him. He wasn't even in it. Yep. Well, he is a boss, so... That make sense. <laughs> I love how he's just trying his best to kill you with so much sharp objects, but you just have this one spear. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially my role as being a tank, but that bullshit where it's like, STUN! Spear, spear, STUN! Spear, spear, STUN! Spear, spear, STUN! Pardon me if I'm a little mad about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, after what we all just witnessed, you have the right to be mad after what happened to you with all that was bullshit. Men. That was bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> that was complete utter bullshit. It really was. I feel. I really feel bad for you because he did not deserve a death like oh. that. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at look at um look at my family's uh, moods. My brother is absolutely pissed at me, but everybody else loves me. <laughs> Why is he pissed at you? What'd you do? I don't know what I did. You can get the fuck over it. I definitely recommend the rainbow grapes, but there's also this mysterious liquid. There's no way I'm going to drink that. I can just tell I'll get sick from it just by the, so the that awful scent and taste. It's all the same, or it smells fine to me. Wait, is it, did he say rainbow grapes is coming from? No, he's saying he recommends the rainbow grapes, but there's also this mysterious liquid. The mysterious mm. liquid is the one that he says he's not going to drink. You drank it before on your character, right? Yeah. It's all the same or it smells fine to me. That kind of feels the same kind of reply here. I'll do it smells I'll do it smells fine to me. What should I say? Item or Gale? A set of an item. Yeah. <laughs> here! Get some strange liquid! <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick, you know that. Oh man. And that's the mom, too. That's the mom, too. <laughs> that's that's right, so fucked. I, I can't help it. I was just like, you know what? I got, they're bitching about the mysterious liquid. I'm like, 
Say it's all the same to me. That's a strange liquid. <laughs> yeah, the one that delivers the mail, he's not that annoying. No, he's actually pretty cool. Yeah. But the one that carries the chalice for you, yeah, that one's annoying. Wonder one magic plus three. Yep. Without a shadow of a doubt, extra heart, hands down. Yeah, after what just happened. <laughs> God, I feel bad for you still. Like, my God. I know, that shit was infuriating. F in the comments? <laughs> Let's enjoy a bit of the the, the... the festival. Considering the fact that I accidentally didn't let people see the second year one, I'm gonna have to let them see a bit of the third year. Should I just say what's gonna happen at this? Like, after the ceremony? Eh, if you want. Well, I don't know. They ever they even want me to spoil it, so oh nah. oh, not to mention, this is my uh, caravan where I have nothing but selkie women in it. And Clavat. Oh women. yeah, you mentioned that. Nothing, to me. nothing but chicks in this caravan. <laughs> One man and all chicks. <laughs> yep. She's Got like his own dream. harem. Got his own harem. Yep. <laughs> See, look at the two selkie women to his sides. Nice. His best friend's the Clavat. That's why she's in the lineup. That's his best friend. Mm. Plus, I love her hair. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Who is... The, Gertie. Yeah, I forgot. Gertie. <laughs> There's two dudes that are named Hurdy and Gertie. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Hurdy, Gertie. Gertie's got... Gertie's this kind of guy who, um... Ends up like uh, telling people these different stories. Some of them actually have some good merit. It's just the the guys that he was telling them to couldn't really figure it out. I can't help but every time there's a selky woman on screen, I can't help but stare at their big tits. I'm not gonna deny it. That's Fair. why I love selky no, no. women. Fair. In those <laughs> in those people that say they don't, I bet you do. Hey, either way, that's why I like selky women in this game. They are just attractive. Yeah, even even from a little bit of look quality, like detail, I gotta admit they'd still make them look sexy. I got to give them that. Let's see, um, yeah, no, Gertie, he tells different stories that actually have merit. It's just the guys that they were, uh, that he was traveling with were, were like, to hell with you, they're all lies. Um, and Hurdy's a fucking charlatan. He's trying to rip people off. See, look at it, look at how the Selkies dance. Yeah, very nice. It would be very funny if you just said to your friend while just watching this, hey dude, look at the dance. Your friend just looks at their tits the whole time and said, yeah, very nice indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm just saying, I was probably to ask him, is it, are you looking at their tits? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes I am. I'm not ashamed to admit it. That's why, I saw, that's why on that one comment I told the guy, he was like, is, this, is it recommended? I said, games? Yes. The game itself, I highly recommend it. My videos? No, not at all for a 10-year-old kid. I do not recommend my videos at all for kids. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not for kids. <laughs> my, commentary, my commentary at all is not for kids. The game itself, I would recommend for kids because it's a fantastic game. I was introduced to it when I was really young, and I loved it. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing for a while. It took me until I was a teenager to actually figure out what I was doing in the game. But, uh... As I got older, I figured out more and more on what the hell it is that I had to do. Still a good game, even from years ago to now. Look at your character with this pick-ass helmet. <laughs> like, that heavy-ass helmet as you dance. I actually wonder how heavy is that helmet? I am pretty sure heavy enough where he could smash the hell out of somebody's skull with a headbutt. I'll admit, oh, I do yeah. like I do like watching the Clavat stance as well. It does look a little bit more regal about how when the when the Clavat stance. Yeah. Especially that is true. especially the male ones, dude. That dude looks like he's like river dancing. Yeah. 
Plus, can we, that, go, uh, can we go back to the their own unique way of dancing? Agree. Is it is I I'm gonna go back to this one statement. Look at the Moogles. Hairy little meat potatoes. Hairy little oh, meat God. potatoes. Oh, meat potato dance. <laughs> meat potato <laughs> dance. <laughs> meat potato <laughs> dance. If you don't know what's happening here, but why you saying that? Um, last time when he was not recording uh, on something, uh, let's just say he. <laughs> He thought they looked like potatoes, and he wants to eat them. Meat yeah, they do. They, they don't they look like just little fluffy meat potatoes? I get it, John. They kind of do, but please do not eat them, Jesus. <laughs> the game doesn't give me the opportunity. Otherwise, I would have done it a while back. Yeah, Celebration Cave here. Here. here, winds have always come from Celebration Cave beyond the southern forests of the plains of Fum. But who could have known it was the cave worms doing? Let's see. After collecting the drop there, I looked back from the mouth of the cave. No wind stirred now that the monster had drawn its last breath. Legends are only legends after all. But as I turned to leave, a gust of wind brushed my cheeks. Huh. Mm. All right. Cool little thing there. Yeah, no, I forgot. There was an event where the uh, caravan of foam was trying to charge me like 500 gil for a chunk of iron. I'm like, fuck you. Like, come on, you can easily kill an enemy. You can, they can just give you a chunk of iron. I got like three up. chunks of iron in my recording sessions alone. Love looking at <laughs> them selkies. Anyways. <laughs> you know, I'm, not ashamed, honest, like, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm not ashamed to admit it. There's probably gonna be a time. There's probably gonna be a time where I'm gonna have literally just nothing but a caravan, uh, where the top row is just gonna be female selkie characters. There's gonna be at least one time where I do that. Yeah, I'm there, there say play, <laughs> I will say that there is one challenge run. I am thinking. You wanna know what that challenge run is? Mm. No weapon or armor upgrades. Beat the game. Oh, that is a that is a that's a that's challenge. A risky yeah, yeah. Then you look at the little baby lilties. They look like little fucking onion potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm not gonna lie, that's that's probably the one where people would be like, "Yo, okay, now it's starting to get a little crazy." But it's not my fault. <laughs> the lilties look like onion people, don't they? Look like onions. They look like onions. Yeah. They look like onion people. Yeah, instead of cabbage patch, instead of, instead of cabbage patch, kids, you got the onion, the onion folk kin. <laughs> you got the you got the race of the little fur, you got the race of the little fuzzy meat potatoes, and then the fucking species of the onion people. <laughs> That's one thing I will admit. Every time I look at this game, I keep thinking of food. I love looking at the women silky. I'm just I'm, I love looking at the female silkies. Same. I'm, I'm not gonna admit it. I, that's why I always. That's why I went with so many female selkies in my caravan. All right. There. My third year at the caravan draws to a close. As I've made new memories this year, as those from the last began to fade. In one fairy tale, memories that grow dim are eaten by a terrible demon. I wonder what happens to memories when they are completely forgotten. I suppose looking back and cherishing the past could bring sadness when we face the future. See, now, that middle one right there. Those from the last began to fade. In one fairy tale, memories that grow dim are eaten by a terrible demon. That shit forebodes the final boss. Yeah? I'm just giving a heads up. That's actual final boss foreboding. Get the mouth. You know what, would you be willing to go on this recording all the way until it ends, just till it stops normally? Because I know we enjoy this game. How long is it going to last? It'll only go for like 60 minutes. Alright, I don't mind. Because we got three new dungeons, and I want to see if due to me getting that third drop allows me to continue the story with the, um, the missing princess. Plus, I also wanted to show you the longest dungeon in the game, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Has that tree always been there? I I do not remember. 
We did not I don't remember this tree. I don't remember this tree. This tree has not been there before. When the fuck did this tree get here? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, sure. Thank you. That, that That's gonna happen. Uh, okay, yeah. sure, sure, yeah, sure. I'll take the rainbow grape, sure. They actually grew some of the shit I gave them? Wow. Whatever. <laughs> Who's a pissed off little onion? Who's a pissed off little onion? Hey, actually, it looks like they actually. Wow. I never knew they actually plant when you gave them. That's something. Has it ever? Have they ever done that the last time when you were younger? I don't remember shit like that. Well, they never did. That's definitely new now. I know some. What do you sell stuff? Thank you. About to say sell something, damn it. Yeah. Okay. I was just <laughs> checking on this. All right. I just wanted to double check on that. Let's see. What can I? See? Can I sell anything? Yeah, I'll sell one of these. Here, I'll give you a veggie seed. Wait, what's your favorite food on your character? I'm actually concerned. Fish. Rainbow grapes, cherry plus. Okay, let's see. If you really want to boost rainbow grapes, you can. Try to balance it all out. <laughs> Well, cherry clusters, he's not too fond of, but everything else he is. On my test recording, he loves everything but rainbow grapes. He fucking yeah. pukes over those. <laughs> you gotta be glad you didn't give your family those seeds. Yeah, you know, it's, it's actually really cool to think about that. It's actually really cool. You can just give your family different seeds and they'll grow the stuff. That's actually really cool. They talk the about so they talk about a scholar who was uh, part of their tau that left years ago to try to find the source of the miasma and stop it. It's the Black Knight that's in mentioned in one of the events. You actually do get to fight the Black Knight if you're lucky enough on the events, and you can continue through with the side quest. Do you think we might be able to be lucky enough to fight him? It's pure event chance. It's pure 100% event chance. I can't promise anything. I would have laughed right. if I would have laughed if all of a sudden it's like, guess who's fighting a black knight? <laughs> hey, at least you get content for your video. <laughs> it would have been, it would have been entertaining as hell. Oh my god, it still is evolving it. <laughs> I felt compelled to find out more about this black knight. I'm dying for my laughter. Whoever's watching this, it sounds probably loud. But <laughs> I'm not saying I fight him right now, it's just it's giving more background context as well as continuing his side quest. There's a boy who says he wants perhaps the preacher prefers to I can learn no more of him in the end. Okay. Now I'm actually concerned if you're gonna <laughs> go after the Black Knight now. <laughs> I remember fighting him one time a while back. He's a tough fight, but it's nothing you can't handle. Wait, the, the Scholar was the uh, is the Black Knight, right? Yes, he is. Why does he attack? Because he lost all memory of who the hell he is, basically. Hmm, I see. Well, my ass, if I'm correct, my ass like, uh, can hurt a person mentally and physically, depending on what type it is. My oh my god. This motherfucker <laughs> here. This is oh, Gertie. I'm oh yeah, I him. saw him. You see, I sent that letter immediately after accepting the package. It's in the bush, in the back. To hear it. <laughs> another, another field of fun character. So what about the package then? Actually, you really don't want to know. Oh, what was the package fed? Well, if you insist. What's the package again? You'll hear it. You see, it was. What? That's me in real life, I thought. Rotted. It was produce, after all. How? You said you were faster than a Moogle. That's why we trusted you to deliver it. 
I am faster than a Moogle. You got the letter saying it had arrived right after you sent the package, right? Um, uh, yes? And weren't you surprised that it arrived so quickly? Well, yes. See? I am much faster than any Moogle, for the most part. So you cheated us, you charlatan! Oh, charlatan has such a distasteful ring to it. I prefer to consider myself an opportunist. W what's the difference? It truly saddens me that you failed. I'm glad for the voice acting. Oh yeah, I am too. Enough. Just pay us back the delivery fee. All of it. It was a thousand gil for your super express mail, right? For a beautiful girl like you, I would pay back every gil I could. Don't tell me. A flood of similar complaints has mm -hmm. emptied my heart. Uh... Oh, I ain't helping him. I ain't giving him shit. It's not like I got a thousand gil. I must say it is rare to see such open rage in a club. Ah, hold on. Oh God, <laughs> don't tell me he's gonna. No, so good to see you. This may seem sudden. No. Oh, I don't no. believe this. Your old friend is in need. You ain't shit to me. You cannot spare a paltry thousand gil. Nope. Is it? Hmm. I thought a fellow clover would surely sympathize with my plight. Am I a clover? Do I look like a clover to you, to motherfucker? Pose. I never suspected it until they began to stink. Rotted shelter, sinks underweight, land's bounties grace, no campers play. Oh, I tossed a stinking lot of them. Or rather, I tossed the lot because it stank. Uh, either way, so much what, for What's the produce he had? It was just food. It was just food, and it all rotted because he took too damn long. He was basically just lazy about it. So now uh. he's flat broke because he charged a lot of people a lot of money for an amazing, for like this amazing Mail Express stuff, and all the stuff he was carrying completely rotted because he just fucked around too much. His fault, not ours. All his he... fault, not ours. Come on, man. Uh, it disconnects the Black Knight. Oh, the... <laughs> no, I don't Let's think see. it's Black Knight. Black Knight's not going to be directly right away. I think I got about maybe one or two more years to deal with for that. Hmm, what's going on over here? Greetings, traveler. And good day. The hell is this all about? Uh, I am relieved to see, but I hear unpleasant. I hope your journey is a safe one. Here, take this. What? Please give me a something. Yes, go ahead. Be on your guard while out on the road. A gourd potato. Gra <laughs> well, at least you got something out of it. Can't really argue. That would at least give us a gill or something, but this would do. Alright, three choices. Raven Atara, Coral, uh, Cornell Karach, or whatever it is, or Mount Kilanda. Hmm, I don't know. Ravenatsa Ra is the gravity wholly demanding one. Um, Mount Kalanda is basically a pure boat travel one, and Konal Karach is the longest one in the game. Let's do the longest one first because <laughs> I'm gonna give that out of the way first Shoot. before doing the rest. Shut the door. So, what? whoever's watching this, you better endure the time. What? Hurry up, what is it? Okay, cool. Shoo. Love having, my, love having my nephews just come in right when I'm trying to record. I don't know they're failing. Hey, either way. So we're going to Kanal Karach, huh? 
I don't know if it's Karach or Karach, I don't know. All I know is it's the longest fucking dungeon in the game. Well, as long as you get this out of the way first, I'm gonna be glad. So whoever's watching this, you better endure this time. <laughs> That's gonna be wasted. Oh, I'm pretty sure. The video is gonna be done before I'm done with the dungeon. <laughs> but first, let's go to the Fields of Fum, make sure that I'm able to continue the missing princess quest. Hopefully I'm able to continue it. Because I got another Murr drop. It just canceled. It just skipped over the years. So hopefully they're in the fields of Fum arguing. Because if I get that done, then I just got to wait till year 5 to continue it. And then on year 5, I can get the holy element for my chalice. And, um, and my asthma streams are no longer going to bother me. Plus, the final area, you need that element just to get to the final boss. Good to know. Yes, you cannot physically get to that thing unless you have that element. Well, once you think about it, it would make sense because it is the source of all my asthma, so that's where my asthma is strongest. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. There they are. Alright, let's see. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it's communicated there. Now, we wait till year five. That's done. Cool. Problem solved. Now, I know it might not seem like much, but every single thing that tells me that that quest leads to getting you a hundred thousand gil. Oh, I'm going to bet something right now. Ooh, actually, no. That phone that was going off was not anybody that I knew. Good. I was worried that was my mother trying to call my brother because my phone's dead and it's off. Trust me, if my mother is not in a good mood, she will let me know all day long. She's definitely somebody who cannot focus on anything positive for more than two seconds. Hey, there's a Selkie named Dinam in the village of Shella. He can somehow survive out in the miasma without a crystal. He said that he was searching for a way to travel without needing to love. I think he's wasting. He said... By the way, I heard that Denam was heading this way for his re- <laughs> Wait, so there's a guy that's not losing his memory without He's crystal? trying He's trying his best to uh, find a way for everybody to survive <laughs> in, uh, out in the miasma without needing to lug one of these chalices around. Ooh. I don't even know if that's a little stupid, or... No, it's actually a pretty good idea because it allows people to wander around it out in the miasma without dying or having to worry about suffering from it. To be honest, I'll be glad if that'll be the case, but I have a feeling that's never going to happen thanks to us. We need to get the drops. Alright. I'm going to show you what I mean, though, by not being able to continue without that element. Right there, that temple is Rebunatara. And this is essentially the end of the game here. See? Yeah, see. I don't have any element possible or available to me right now to even go through there. It's still worth getting the element because it allows you to go through every single stream without having to worry about anything either. Now, I'm not looking forward to this. It's a long well, dungeon. Well, at least we're getting it out of the way. It's a very long dungeon. I know, but the sooner we get this out is, of the way, this the is, better. This is the, um, the dungeon where you need to know holy to fight the boss. The boss is Zombie Dragon. Oh, yeah, I can see why you need holy. This marsh has thwarted travelers since ancient times. Yeah. The rain now, look at all that. Here. That's just it's one area. Miasma. Jesus Christ. Much to the chagrin of prospective intruders. In days of old, 
The Selkies were driven from their ancestral home. Huh? They marched ever westward in search Why? of a new haven. Go ahead. Here, they built bridges over the swamp and at long last reached the other side. But once there, they found no land to call home. Then go ahead and go take care of the animals. This is the biggest dungeon in the entire of Crystal Chronicles. <clears throat> Love the music though. Yeah. Probably gonna need that. Oh, I can't read that because I'm not a Selkie. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, there's a lot of racial, like, specific things. Dang, got another phoenix down. Say this. This. So they explode. Yes. My strength is 48, and these motherfuckers have taken like four hits. I'll just leave that there for the time being. Thing is, is, this dungeon is the most necessary, though, if you want to get your ultimate weapon. <clears throat> mm. There's, without a shadow of a doubt, it's what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? It's happened last time as well, it's in a different location. I, do you understand why I'm looking at Moogles like they're food when they do stupid shit like that? Well, the video is I'll let you eat this one. <laughs> Fucking leaving me out into my asthma like that. What are you trying to do? Make him lose memory of him wanting to eat you? Jesus Christ! No, that's just gonna reinforce it. <clears throat> Good way to piss me off. Are there any flying enemies in this dungeon? Or? I don't think so, so we're gonna do this. This. We're gonna do that. Just to put that back on there so that I have it. Can I burn these? Well, they do look burnable. No, it's just there. Yeah. Maybe, it, maybe this is another one of those dungeons that has extra shit when you come back at a later date. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Eh. Huh? Give me a quick moment. I'm gonna go feed my cat. I'll be right back. Alright.
All right. Sorry about that. Every time it's, it's just around the time to feed the animals the second time, the kids are just like, oh, give me feed him, give me feed him, give me, give me feed him, give me, we need the remote, we need the TV remote, we need the TV remote, we need the TV remote, I can't exist without TV remote. <laughs> oh boy, that reminds me of someone. That fucking bad, trust me. Now, I will admit, this area always made me feel like it was inspired by FF9. This section of it. Because FF9, there's a lot of marshes that look like that. Pretty good to know. FF9 is probably one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. People say FF7 is better than 9 and 8. Personally, I say 9 is better than 8 and 7. Okay, so, if I credit, you should only have to count four times to get hit him. So you don't end up doing an extra hit to you go through it quicker. That's a... I don't know if that's a grenade or a dark bomb. Mm. I don't want to get hit by that. I don't know what it is. Might be a lightning gun. Hey, at least you get lots of stuff out of this. Oh yeah, no, there's, there's always tons of stuff here. Dax would fucking fall in love with this place. Because there's so much stuff to kill, so much stuff to loot. Uh, it's lightning, that's what it is. That was actually yeah. t a test, to be honest. I wanted to see. I'll take this, I'll take that, I'll take this. See, there's a recipe I'm looking for in this area called the Legendary Weapon 2. I need to get the recipe for that, and then there's a couple of items I need to get from certain enemies later, too. Okay, I see. They have a lot of good stuff here, but... It's a majority of the recipes aren't really for the Lilties, other than the weapons and armor. The okay. Lilties I feel have the most... The Lilties I have the most... I think have the most value as far as, like, the least worry on recipes to upgrade their gear. Who knows, if I play through this again, I might play through as a Selkie. Characters in this game look kind of gay. One of the selkie Even males, the... yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. There's still stuff we haven't explored in this section. Yep, see? Enemies down here. I didn't really get on fire. And holy crap. No, somebody hit me with fire and then water right afterwards. Okay, we're gonna have to remove you, sorry. I gotta keep these. This is needed for the boss, without a shadow of doubt, I can't argue. Uh, Shepard, he's about to stop in five minutes. I can't tell what, is it on cure? No. That means the video might stop here in a little bit as well. Alright. I mean, you can see we're just in this one section has so much to it already. Damn it. <laughs> Thunderball. They should freeze you in ice. We try yeah, they can freeze you in ice. Nope. 
Yeah, no, I'm getting a lot of those. Really? This is probably one of the only sections of the game where I recommend anybody who's going through this, feel free to grab a map. Like, look online, grab any kind of map you can find to help navigate through this, because you have no in-game maps. The I only feel map like, you have is that mini-map. <laughs> yeah, and that only helps so much. I'm going back to the other side to make sure I didn't miss anything. Are you fucking... Oh my Are you god. kidding me? Stop being a whitey bitch for crying out loud. You're gonna have to carry it for a while or else she's gonna complain again within a minute or so. I just want to make absolutely certain I didn't miss anything. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I had a whining about that. Come on. I like how each time you change an element, the aura is different of how yeah. it's around you. Yeah, I do like that effect too. Trust me, I like that effect as well. Yeah, okay, I think I think I did check everything in the first area. I think I did get everything in the first area. Good, now we gotta work our way all the way back over to there. Are you fucking serious? Uh, you stamina, for God's sake! You just picked it back up. This is why, I, this is the one thing I will admit, multiplayer removes this. That right there, I hate that with a passion. See why? No, not yet. Yeah, don't give it to him yet. Give him a little longer room to get his energy back. Cross the damn map threshold, then I'll give it back to him. I ain't dealing with no damn whiny little Moogle bitch. Yeah, share play will stop in one minute, says. So when it cuts you out, I'll probably cut the video off. Now, unfortunately, right. I'm gonna have to go ahead. I'm gonna have to restart the recording just so that because I can't leave a dungeon mid through. No, so no. Would you I like to? That. Would you like to rejoin on the next recording? Yeah. If he's coming, enemies, he's just gonna kill you very quickly. I don't know, it depends on what enemies they throw at me. Oh, what the heck? Those are FF9 enemies. I don't care what anybody says, those are Final Fantasy 9 enemies. Are you. Don't, don't be doing this, this stun yeah, lock don't, bullshit. Don't do again. what the Blizzard Man do. Okay, you know what? Up, it stops. Alright. 